Dear distinguished guests, I am so happy to be here with you tonight, celebrating my niece's wedding. It was in 2005 when I first met Neil, and I thought that this couple is very much alike, and maybe one day I would need to come back to America for their wedding. Thus, six years later, here we all are. It was May 21st in 2005 when Maria's sister, Dimitra, married Robert. And right now they have a wonderful family with two kids, Nina and Mason Maximus. It was May 21st, but in 1864, when Ulysses Island, Ithaca and Kefalonia, constituting his kingdom, and from where our family comes from, reunited with Mother Greece after many years of occupation by various conquerors. It seems the date, May 21st, has a very important significance not to be ignored or attributed to mere coincidence. As a spiritual guide to the new couple, I was thinking of an appropriate piece of advice to give them as they embark on their common journey through life. Respectfully, I recall a great poet Constantine Kavafis and his poem Ithaca, which I dedicate to this beautiful couple. Just like our great-great-grandfather Ulysses, after conquering Troy on his return journey to Ithaca, My beloved ones, as you set out for Ithaca, hope that your journey is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery, Lystrigonians and Cyclops, angry Poseidon, do not be afraid of them. You'll never find things like that on your way as long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare sensation touches your spirit and your body. Lystrigonians and Cyclops, wild Poseidon, you won't encounter them unless you bring them along inside your soul, unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope that your journey is a long one. May there be many summer mornings when, with what pleasure, what joy, you come into harbors seeing for the first time. May you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things. Mother of pearl, coral, amber, ebony, sensual perfume of every kind. As many sensual perfumes as you can. And you may visit many Egyptian cities to learn and learn again from those who know. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you are destined for. But do not hurry the journey at all. Better if it lasts for years, so that you are old by the time you reach the island. Wealthy with all you have gained on the way. 
not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the marvelous journey. Without her, you would not have set out. And if you find her poor, Ithaca won't have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience, you will have understood by then what these Ithacas mean. Maria and Neil, may peace, hope and love be always with you. Lovingly, I am wishing you a happy sailing. <laughs>